It may not look like much at the moment, but in a few months' time, the owners of this old off-licence are hoping to transform this building into Nottingham's go-to destination. It's just moved up from South Wales about 18 months ago. I love Nottingham, love the pubs, love the nightlife. And I've visited practically every pub in town. I always think, oh, I could do this. And actually, fact, maybe I could do it a little bit better, a little bit differently. So this is why I started this project. Well, it's an ideal location. It's the old adage, it's the worst house on the best street in town. And there's just so much potential. The wall behind me is going to be knocked through. So it's a long, narrow space. Seating area up here, the bar will be somewhere along this region. And the bar will be saying all the good beers from Tiny Rebel and other Welsh brewers, hence the name Ales from Wales. The building has two floors and a cave system, which could indeed be host to some of the city's budding talent. We've just come down a floor now and you've got a lot of plans for this floor, haven't you? I have. This is basically our basement. It's going to be partly the beer cellar, also the public toilets, but more importantly, it's a function room. It's going to be an overflow bar, rehearsal rooms for local bands, artists sort of come down. There's lots of good towns in Nottingham. Not so many bands get showcased, so I think this would be a good arena for it. So we've made it to perhaps the pièce de résistance of this place, the cave system, and it's got quite a bit of history behind it, hasn't it? Apparently this is the only surviving malt kiln in Nottingham. It's of national importance, so Mr Scott Lomax told me. He's the archaeologist of Nottingham. I just think we're doing some music down there, like a little rave in a cave, or um, we'll do some dining, some blind dining that you do. I've got people I know who want to do escape rooms. I could put films, horror films on in some of the evenings. Loads of scope for things to do, and obviously educational trips for the school kids and whoever else can have a look, they're more than welcome. The transformation will take time and money, but the small team involved hope that with the help of crowdfunding, their ideas can become a reality. The more I can raise, the better finish I can do, but also I want the local people to buy into it. I'm offering a reward scheme and they'll get either discounts on beers or cave tours or whatever they want. There's a few options available online. Whilst there's still plenty of work to be done, the new rewards for this fundraising could mean you find yourself at a cave rave sooner than you think. Charlotte Swindells for Knots TV.